<laughs> right. The really yeah, fascinating part playing. about your career, though, is how you transitioned away from comics back then into animation, into storyboard work, that kind of thing. <laughs> Um, I know you've done this a little bit in other interviews and I hate being redundant, but help people understand a little bit about how that transition happened for you. Like what was the first steps and kind of your first uh, jumping off point? Well, it was basically two steps. Uh, one is I moved from, uh, I, I met my wife who's just backing out of the driveway in her car now. Um, um, I met my wife and when we were married, you know, month after we got married, we moved out to California. Um, and the second part of it was, um, I was jokingly say, uh, you know, was that uh, Julie Andrews when she won the Oscar for uh, Mary Poppins? Jack Warner had passed her over for uh, My Fair Lady, where she made a you know a big splash. She held up the Oscar and she said, "I'd like to thank Jack Warner for this." And uh, so when I think of my animation career, I always say, "I'd like to thank uh, Jim Shooter for this," because. Um, uh, when I started working at Marvel, I somehow managed to uh, get on Jim's list of people that we really don't need. Um, so I could kind of see my career in comics in that sense was um, uh, it was going to be more and more difficult. So when I moved out to California, there were all these different opportunities to work in storyboard, advertising, whatever. And so I started to, you know, to segue into uh, doing that. What made it supremely easy was I was working on a book at the time called Sisterhood of the Steel, which mm -hmm. was a creator-owned book that myself and Christy Marks did. Well, unbeknownst to probably most comic book people, Christy Marks was also the lead writer for all the Hasbro stuff. She created probably a good part of the gem world and material, and she was also one of the major writers on G.I. Joe. Hmm. So, and, and I had been drawn to G.I. Joe comic book. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was a no brainer that I went into Marvel and said, you know, Hey, I'd, I'd like to do storyboards. And of course their reaction was, uh, no, you draw comics. You don't know how to draw storyboards. And, uh, um, so I went, okay. And, um, I asked one of my friends who drew storyboards, uh, uh, Warren Greenwood. Um, and he said, Oh, Mike, you want to draw storyboards? Uh, I could probably teach you everything you need to know in about an hour. And I mean, I was getting these different, you know, uh, um, reactions from, uh, you know, from management and from, from talent or whatever. So finally at Marvel, things were just booming so much. They needed artists and they said, Hey, look, um, we'll give you a job and you can apprentice to somebody and you can, you know, they'll teach you, you know, you can learn slowly how to do storyboards mm -hmm. from them. Um, and. And, you know, and they said, well, yeah, we want to hire you, but unfortunately, we don't have anybody you can apprentice with. So what we'll do is we'll get you a script and you can come in and, and you can work with a couple people here and you'll go through that. And when I showed up to get the script, they went, oh, we really don't have anybody to show you that stuff. So yep, just, no one's here to train you today. You're on your own. <laughs> take it home, do it, bring it back, and, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Well, I took it home. I did it. I brought it back. And, like, they went, oh, wow, you're hired. And, That's awesome, Mike. Well, it, I, no. it's, so, it's so real life, too. Like every job I've ever had, it's always like, yeah, we're going to go through these weeks of training or whatever. And most of the time you're like, all right, well, you start today. Here you go. Well, I thought I was going to be training with somebody. Yeah, there's no one here to train you today. You just got to be good. <laughs> You'll be, you can handle it, right? <laughs> well, well, what I discovered was that the storytelling process between film and comics is very similar. Mm -hmm. there's, there's really major but small changes. I mean, one thing in comics, the work is static. It's on the page. It's going to stay there. In film, everything continues to move. In comics, you can draw panels of all different sizes. In film, you have one static frame you're going to work with the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing they were very, very concerned about uh, was also, you know, was screen direction. If you entered on the left, you stayed on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, in comic books, nobody cared about that. You could enter on the left. You could come back on the right, you know. Um, because between the two frames, as Scott McCloud pointed out to us, there's a huge world that goes on. Mm. Whereas in film, it's all instantaneous. So it's if you go out on the left and you come back on the left again, people are going, huh, where'd he come from? You know, is you know, and, and, um, so there were little things like that to learn. Um, but for the most part that, you know, it was, 
Um, it, it went very, very smoothly for me. Um, and uh, the other thing was that, that in comics at the time, you had to learn how to draw well and you had to learn how to draw quickly. Mm -hmm. So when I started working in animation, the other big issue were just keeping up with the deadlines. Right. And the uh, first thing I discovered was I had two weeks to do a show. It rarely took me more than about five to six days. Oh, wow. Because, awesome. Well, I think the drawing that would slow down a lot of folks um, went very quickly for me. And you know, for better or for worse, I didn't second get my or second guess myself a lot in terms of, oh, how should I approach this? How should I approach that? And as I mentioned earlier, my biggest influence as a kid was movies. So I mean, I was constantly mm -hmm. watching movies and seeing how you know and bringing that into my comics at the time, mm -hmm. even before I started an, you know in animation. So I understood that process of you know what is the pan? How do you move in? How do you move out? All the uh, the film techniques to use, uh, they were things I was I was pretty much familiar with. 